Spot number three plays two in semi-final one of the FNB Varsity Cup circa 2019. The home side have been sturdy this season, but creep their way to a draw in their final group match. The away team spent most of the tournament struggling to cross the whitewash. Then they went and scored 17 tries in the last two weeks. It's about to get tasty in Schwane. Tucks are hosting Pucker in the playoffs. Johan Grobela feeds the line out up for it as Hanru Sergil. Tucker have put in a great first defense. And it looks like they are driving Tucks towards the touchline. Can they hold the second surge? Yes, they can. Not only hold it, but control it. Direct it towards the touchline. Have they got control of the ball? No. Tucks get that free. Here's Cronier. De Beer. Moving it on the outside. There's some space. Oh, it's given off to Dyer. Opens the scoring in semi final number one of the 2019 FNB Varsity Cup. Gossa just shooting up too early for that defense line. And then. Diaram just making easy money, stepping out and reaching out for the try line. That's the intensity. Tech's not moving, they're waiting. They're waiting to watch Pucker players move. Up they go, the full ball, the contest is won by Tux. Krobalak, that's out to Hanru Sergio. Oh, ho, ho. oh, it's getting tasty out there for sure. Maria, Denzel Hill, crashing into the pucker line. Now the power, the pressure is piling on the visiting team. Maria to the beer, cross kick for Diarama. De Beard has his cheat codes on and set today. Karen Diaram. He is ready to put on those points with his second try. Another ferocious runner on the outside. He's keeping Polisa Gugu. Go, Guma out of this team. So he has to be a classy player. High tackle is the call, and it is going to be a penalty to Tux in a kickable position. Just to let you know, the reason that the score is in pink is because we are playing with a pink ball, and that means that if a try is scored, a thousand rand will be donated to the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation of South Africa. And that one takes him level at the top of the all-time point-scoring list at Varsity Cup. Off the ground, it's offloaded to Bjorn Conradi. Theo Maria in a good position to steal that ball. Luis Van is white. holding his ankle right now. Offside, number seven and number three. Ijo puts it up. Over it goes. Finally points on the board for Pucka. Just 12 points separate the sides now. And keep in mind, you can score a nine-point try in Varsity Cup Rugby. Because if your try originates Come behind on. your own halfway line, you're awarded seven points for the try before the conversion attempt. Irak Tronier takes it to the line. Denzel Hill saw something, but Vian Conradi is not a man who misses many tackles. Great pressure, and now it's anybody's ball. Oh, it almost came back on Pucker's side, Lawrence Pretorius. It was a knock-on, and Lawrence Pretorius was in front of that knock-on. Then he played the ball. September wants to tap and go. That man's offside. What a dish that is from Gideon van der Merwe. Now it's Daniels on the outside. It's Gossa! Skalkicho doesn't care. He doesn't care what's going on. Let's get in. It's party time for the boys from Poch. A very elaborate effort to get out of the ruck. Looks like a fish on the shore. Jakob is here Hijo. This one is straight down the field. It has to go over. And over it goes. Gideon van der Merwe. He will take it to ground as Tux players have wrapped him up. Will they turn this one over again? Oh, it looks troublesome, but Hare is able to free it. And now they are on the front foot. So crucial that they make the most of this opportunity. Chucky van der Vesthazen can't clear the man off the ball. Turn over ball for Grobelar. What a play that is. Pucker back in. Yes, they've snatched it back through Ruben's stretchy deploy. And Eugene Hare can free the ball. Numbers short to the left, and it's Björn Conradi! Conradi! You did call it, Paul. Ample time to turn this around. Stretchy. Here in Chwane, at the end of the match, it's Tux who are victorious by 24 points to 18.